Welcome to this gentle adult yoga class. Let's get started lying on our mats. Oops, that's awesome. I can't see my head. Come on. Okay. Take a few long, slow breaths and let the body melt into the floor. As you exhale, imagine any tension or stress just falling out of the back of the body. As you breathe in, imagine drawing earth energy in up from the earth into your body. Feel this natural exchange of energy, releasing whatever you don't need down into the earth and drawing up nourishment, replenishing yourself from the infinite supply of earth energy. As the body relaxes, feel the belly soften. If you like, you can put your hands on your belly two inches below your navel. Feel the belly rise as you breathe in and sink back as you breathe out. Soft, easy belly breaths. And then slide one hand up to your rib cage. Feel the belly rise and then the ribs expand. <clears throat> On the exhale, <clears throat> excuse me, the belly comes down, the ribs come in. And then bring your rib hand up onto your chest. Belly rise, ribs expand, chest broadens. Chest relaxes, ribs come in, belly comes down. Moving into a three-part breath. And let the practice go. Notice how you feel. Let's inhale the arms up overhead and take a deep stretch from heels to fingertips. And then wiggle the fingers and toes. Let's wiggle, 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 wiggle. And circle the wrists and the ankles. And circle back the other way. And let's bring one knee in, give that leg a hug, and bring the hand behind the thigh. We'll open and close that knee. And release and bring the other leg in, give it a hug. 
Bring the hand behind the thigh and we'll open and close the knee. And um, let's bring the first leg in again. We'll make some circles, stretching up towards the ceiling, reaching out. Imagine you're being pulled by your heel as you reach out. Deep breath, stretching that leg. So notice your alignment. You want the leg to be straight and parallel to the sides of your mat. I noticed for a minute that I was doing an animal alignment. I was going to the side. But you want to stay straight so that you're working the muscles around the knee evenly, protecting that knee. And let's stop and go the other way. Take a look. Make sure the leg is parallel to the sides of your mat so that you're stretching the muscles evenly and strengthening them evenly, supporting your knee, keeping it in place. And place that foot on the floor and slide it down. And just wiggle the legs in and out. Compare the two legs. And come to stillness for a breath or two. Feel the body energy circulate. And then roll the knees to face the ceiling so you're in Tadasana just lying down. And we'll bring that other leg in and circle it. Check in the alignment. And then we'll go the other way. Just notice any sensations. Notice if you have any issues with your legs or knees as you're doing these motions. Any creaking or any place where you feel aching. And we'll place that foot on the floor and slide it down and just rest and feel the energy circulate. And let's bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself another hug. And roll up to a seated position. And if you'd like, you could sit in Thunderbolt. You could sit on a prop or just on your knees. Or you can take Sukhasana, easy pose, if Thunderbolt isn't working for you. Let's do some nice sunshining breaths. Inhaling up. And exhaling down. And this time, let's grab the right wrist with the left hand and stretch over to the side. Inhale up and stretch over the other way. Come back to center, open and down. 
Take a breath and notice how you feel and we'll inhale up. Turn the palms and stretch the hands to the sky and reach over. Land back to center and reach over the other way. Back to center, open and down. Come into an easy spinal twist, bringing one hand to the leg or the knee and the other hand behind you. Untwist, inhale tall and exhale, rotate. And back to center. Take a breath and notice how you feel. Come forward. We're going to do some facial stuff. So let's sit up nice and tall and open and close the jaw. and move the jaw from side to side. And around in a circle. And around in a circle the other way. And relax, bring your hands together, rub them briskly. And radiate that energy into your face. And then we're gonna take the side of our hand from our pinky to our wrist and just run our hands lightly right through the middle of our ear, all the way to the wrist three times. And this is an energetic thing that balances all the muscle systems in your body. So you're just sliding the side of your hand from the front of your ear to the back, right past the hole in your ear, right through the middle of your ear. Just a little bit of energetic fun. Okay. And let's do some shoulder circles. I might as well stay here for that. That's easy enough. And let's stop and circle back the other way. And rest for a moment. I'm going to bring one shoulder up and bring the ear to the shoulder. Give that a squeeze. And bring the head up and bring the shoulder down. Let's bring the other shoulder up, bring the ear to the shoulder. And bring the head up and the shoulder down. Let's do that again for a side. Feel the stretch in the side of your neck, the squeeze in the other side. Head up and shoulder down, shoulder up, ear to shoulder. Head up and shoulder down. Let's look over one shoulder.
and smoothly look over the other shoulder. Let's come back to center. And we'll draw a little figure, infinity sign with our nose. And if you'd like with a soft gaze, see if you can look at the tip of your nose. Soft gaze at the tip of your nose. And we'll come to stillness and then go the other way. And back to center. Take a breath, notice how your face feels. One more time, let's rub the hands together brief, <laughs> briskly and shine that light into our face. I'm gonna go back and see all of me. You can see all of me. All right. So. <laughs> Coming back onto our mats in easy pose, sitting up nice and tall. Begin to make some easy circles. Opening up the hips in a nice, easy way. And then coming to stillness, we'll go the other way. And come to stillness, notice how you feel. Let's widen the legs with the feet on the floor. Grab your shins. We'll do some cat and dog here, rounding the back. Inhaling, lifting up, stretch up. And exhale, round back. Inhale, stretch up. Continue moving with your breath at your own pace.
and come back up. Bring your hands behind you and we'll windshield wiper the knees. Uh, let's turn the knees to the right. Bring the left arm out. I'm going to take a nice big swing and lift the hips and stretch up. And exhale, come on back down. The other hand is behind you for support. Big stretch up. And down. Moving with the breath. One more on this side. Let's hold this one for a few breaths. Big arc, open heart. And come down. Bring that foot in, soles of the feet together. Holding onto your ankles, we'll do a nice, easy butterfly here. And then we'll switch over to the other side. Hand behind you on the floor for support, reaching out. Inhale, lift the hips, stretch up. And exhale, come on back down. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Going at your own pace, taking lovely, deep, full breaths. Do two more, we'll hold the last one. Last one, we'll hold this for three breaths. Inhale, reach. Feel the openness of your heart. Deep breath into the rib cage. And come down. And bring the soles of the feet together. And a nice, easy butterfly here. Come back into easy pose or half lotus or whatever you like. Whatever you choose, let's put the left leg on top. We're going to do eagle arm. So let's inhale up. Bring the left arm down. Bring the right arm inside. And you're either going to hold your shoulders, back of the palms touch or palms touch. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders down. And we'll make some circles here. Looking through the arms, soft gaze out into the distance. So before we were looking at the tip of our nose, now we're looking out as far as we can, developing a peripheral vision because we have to look around our arms. Circle the other way. Inhale up, remember which arm and leg were on top. Bring your arms back down behind you, stretch your legs out. And bring the other leg in on top, Sukhasana or Half Lotus, Full Lotus, whatever works for you. Inhale up, bring your right elbow down. 
in the midline, left elbow inside, either hug your shoulders, back of the hands touch, or palms cross and touch. Sit up tall and circle. And circle back the other way. And inhale up. Exhale, hands behind you. Legs up nice and wide, big stretch. Inhale forward with a straight back. Maybe you only go forward a little bit. Just stay here and breathe into the stretch. Don't try to go very far. Feel the breath softening you. And when you feel the softening happen, then maybe go forward another quarter of an inch. Those are up or slightly back. Belly is lifted. You're leaning forward from your hips, not from your upper back. Lift that chest. One more, maybe coming forward just a little bit more. Keep lengthening through the top of your head and out through your feet. It's a very intense pose, so be gentle with yourself. Don't go too far. Honor where you are today. And let's bring the hands to the knees and the soles of the feet together. Bring the hands to the floor and back one more time. Lift the chest, and if you feel so inclined, lift the hips and stretch up. And come on back down, stretch those legs out and give a little shake. And come to the back of your mat in child pose. Let's inhale up into the table and bring the left foot through for a lunge. Remember, you can walk that foot forward and bring the hips forward and down as long as the knee stays over the heel. If you've got your knee way forward like that, that's a sign you definitely want to bring your foot forward. We're giving a nice stretch to the front of the right thigh. We're strengthening the left leg with the knee right over the heel and in line with the toes, working on that leg again and that knee. You can just hang out here for a few, few breaths, slide the shoulder blades down, look up, come onto your fingertips. If you have blocks and you want to use blocks, you can do that. But really breathing into this front hip, opening that up, breathing into the other foot, strengthening the leg, feeling like a post into the earth. And then when you feel ready, you can bring your hands to your thigh and come on up. Throw the pelvic floor and the lower belly up for support here. Still breathing into the front of the thigh, opening that thigh up, keeping that knee active and aligned. Bring the hands to the sacrum. Begin to arc back, coming into crescent moon. Elbows are reaching towards each other. The hands on the sacrum help to keep it long. No pinch in the lower back. That front foot like a post giving you the stability you need to arc up and back if that feels safe to you. And let's release. Come on back down. One nice big toe hamstring stretch is a counter stretch to what we just did.
and come back into child. When you're ready, come on back up into table. Bring your right foot through. And if you like to walk it forward, as long as you're keeping the shin vertical, bringing a nice stretch to your left front thigh. Coming onto your fingertips or your blocks, looking up past your eyebrows. Breathing into the stretch and letting the body open on its own. And coming up onto your leg. Hanging out here, continuing to open the front of the right thigh, ground through the, sorry, open left thigh, ground through the right foot. And again, I noticed that my leg wasn't vertical, so I just readjusted there. Bringing the hands to the sacrum, squeezing the elbows, lifting the heart. Lifting the pelvic floor and drawing the lower belly up for support. And come on back down. And one more time, reach back into a lovely toe hamstring stretch, counter stretch. And let's come back into child. And if you have knee issues and child is hard on your knees, you can put a pillow or a block behind your hips and raise your hips a little bit. And then stay in child or come into your squat, Malasana. If you need a block under your hips in Malasana, you can use a prop there. A few breaths lengthening the spine, either in child or Malasana. I will bring the hands to the floor, the feet to parallel, and meet in Uttanasana forward fold. And if you'd like to turn your palms over, if your hands are on the floor, stretching the back of your hands. You can even pick your toes up and slide your hands under your toes so that your toes are tickling the crease of your wrist and you're pulling up and stepping down at the same time. Mm -hmm. 
and bring the hands back out, place them on the sacrum and slowly roll up, pressing into your heels. Coming into Tadasana. Finding the parallel position. You can look at your feet if you need to. You can lift up those toes and spread them wide. Relax them down. Lift up the arches. Lift up the kneecaps. Hug the muscles to the bone. Feel the tailbone pointing down and the lower abdominal muscles lifting up. Inhale through the side ribs, but tuck your front ribs. Roll those shoulders up, back and down and reach your fingertips to the floor. Bring the back of your neck long, your chin in slightly and stretch up through the middle of the top of your head. Feel the strength, the length, the stability of Tadasana. Turn the palms outward and bring the arms all the way up overhead, parallel, or interlace the first three fingers, or well, the last three fingers, pointers up, thumbs crossed, coming into steeple position. Inhale, tall, and exhale. Tip over to one side, bumping the hips a little bit in the opposite direction. Inhale up and tip over the other way. Inhale tall, float the arms down halfway, keeping the hips where they are. You might even think of pressing the Right hip forward so that it doesn't follow your shoulders around. Just spinning from the belly and the waist and chest. The legs are stable. They're not going anywhere. Inhale back to center. Stretch up tall, ground through the feet. Keeping those hips Facing forward, turning the upper body away from the legs. Mm. Take a breath here and float the arms down. Step out to a five pointed star. Once again, we're going to lift the toes and spread them, relax them down, lift the arches and the kneecaps, tuck the tailbone, lift the lower abdominals, lengthen the side ribs, but tuck the front ribs. Inhale the shoulders up, exhale them down. Reach from fingertip to fingertip and lengthen the back of your neck. Now keep all of this dynamism happening as you rotate your right foot 90 degrees. Let's slide out, I'm gonna step wider. Let's slide out over tabletop, turn your palms to face me and tip over. So you want to keep that spine nice and long, no crunch in the side body. If you go lower, you're going lower from the hip crease, not from the waist. And you're welcome to do what I just did, was to put my hand into the hip crease and press into the top of my thigh to help with that stretch. So we're not rounding over here, we're keeping that spine long. You can imagine rolling your inner thighs away from each other.
works for your neck. You can, <laughs> if it works for your voice, works for your neck, you can turn and look up at your thumb. Towards your head in line with your spine, whatever direction you're looking at. We're not dragging the ear towards the shoulder. Not in this view. Close. As you open up, you can go lower. You feel the body releasing with the breath. And we're going to swing this arm forward and overhead and deepen the side stretch here. Inhale, back up. Bring the arms out, turn the toes in, toe heel, or jump back to Tadasana. Feel how different the two sides are. And let the energy circulate. And let's step out the other way. Big wide stretch. All those internal cues that we worked on, can you do for yourself this time? And then we'll rotate the left toes 90 degrees. And I like a wider stretch for Tadasana than I do for five points of star for some reason. And reach out over the leg, keeping that spine nice and long. Turn the palms to face me. Rotate using the back of your hand against the side of your leg for support. Stretch up. Feel free to adjust your pose any way that makes it work for you. If you want to go lower, you can place your hand on the hip crease and press into your thigh and lengthen over. But we're moving from the hips, not from the waist. Take that arm, swing it down and around and over the head, increasing that side stretch. Roll the inner thighs outwardly. Inhale back up. Turn the toes in and toe heel will jump back to Tadasana. Allow the body to integrate the two sides. And we'll come into chair pose with Katasana. We'll turn sideways. So you were starting with Tadasana. Bring the arms out, shoulder height. Wiggle those shoulder blades down your back and draw the belly in. Let's lift the toes up. So we're putting our weight into our heels and press those hips back. So again, we don't want to be like that with the knees away forward. As much as possible, the lower body, the lower legs are vertical and the knees are parallel. Weight is in the heels, find your drishti. So this pose done correctly is a very valuable pose for our legs and knees. Helps to strengthen the leg muscles. Balance the muscles to hold the knees in place. And if you feel so inclined, you can rock forward and lift your heels. Turn this into a balancing pose. From here, you can slowly inhale up either into Tadasana or on your toes into Tall Mountain.
And down. Let's make our way back to the floor by coming through a forward fold. Bend your knees if you need to, to get your hands on the floor. Walk your hands forward a little bit and walk your feet back a little bit and we'll come into a downward facing dog. Spread the fingers and press into the base of the fingers. Spread the toes and press into the base of the toes. Deep breaths all the way up and down your spine. Lift the heels, come back down onto your knees, widen the knees and come back into child. Inhale up, bring the legs out in front, face you. Then come to Janya Shashasana, bring the left heel in against the thigh, the right toes up. Inhale tall and exhale lengthen over the leg. Inhale up, bring your right arm onto the shin or inside the leg. Bring your left hand to your hip. Spin your body so you're facing your bent knee. Reach your left arm up to the sky or overhead, reaching towards your toes, and you're pressing out through the ball of the big foot so you're not sickling your foot. Spinning your rib cage towards the ceiling. So if this causes you to round forward, go for this one, which will definitely orient you towards the sky. Inhale up, turn to face your straight leg and bring your left leg in, give it a hug, sit up nice and tall, shoulders down. You can stay here or cross that leg over or bring the heel against your buttocks. Take the right hand and hug the left knee across the body with the hand or the elbow. Bringing the left arm out and following it around behind you. Bring that hand to the floor. So you're pulling the knee in one direction and the shoulders going the other way. Spine reaching to the sky. And you're breathing into the stretch and feeling the body open. Inhale that back arm around. Uncross your legs. Stretch out into the basana and surrender over.
Inhale back up. Bring your right leg in, heel against your thigh. Left toes point up. Inhale tall and exhale over into Janya Shashasana. Inhale up just enough to bring your left hand to your shin or inside your leg. Right hand to your hip. Let's spin the body towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach up. And if this is the way that you can stay reaching towards the sky, stay here. Or rotate the shoulder and bring the arm up overhead. Press out through the ball of your big toe. Keep spinning your body towards the sky. Deep breaths into the open side of your body. And inhale yourself back up. Spin towards your front leg. Bring the other leg in with the foot flat on the floor and give it a hug, sit up tall. Stay here or cross your foot over or bend your knee and bring your heel next to your buttock. Sitting up nice and tall, we'll hold the Knee with the opposite hand or elbow, hugging the knee across the body. Right arm reaches out, shoulder height. Inhale tall and rotate around. Float that hand to the floor near your spine. Pulling the knee in one direction and the shoulders in the other. Inhale that back arm around, shoulder height, following it with your eyes. Uncross your legs. Stretch out into Dandasana and surrender over. Inhale up, grab your blanket or pillows or whatever you need for Shavasana. This is your time to settle into the mat and let the body integrate the benefits of all that we've done today.
You can stay here as long as you like. But when you're ready, begin to bring some movement back into your fingers and toes. And gently move and stretch in whatever way feels good to you. And bring your feet flat on the floor. Roll to one side. And come to a seated position. Namaste.